Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. Well, today we're going to be talking about jailbreaking a Fire Stick. Now, I know what some of you are going to say in the comments below. Bob, it's not jailbreaking. It's installing unknown apps. I know. I get that. It's just that the word jailbreaking is the number one search for anything related to Fire Sticks on Google and YouTube. So that's why we say it this way. So take that for what it's worth. So although there are thousands and thousands of apps available in the Amazon App Store, there are probably 10 times that many unofficial apps available out there in the world. And that's what this is all about. So I will show you this process step by step. Feel free to follow along in the video, pause as you need to, rewind if you missed something. But when we get done, you'll be able to install all the apps you want to your heart's content. So if you're ready to learn how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick, grab your remotes and let's go. All right, here we go. So I am on the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max first generation. Although the steps I'm gonna show you will work on basically all the Fire Sticks, including the new one, uh, the Max second generation. I just reset my Fire Stick Max to factory settings. So everything you see here will basically be the same as if you just got your Fire Stick out of the box and you're looking to install unknown apps like you know everybody in the world does on their Fire Stick. So first things first, whenever we discuss or use unknown apps, we definitely want to make sure that our VPN is connected. So I'm going to connect uh, with IP Vanish. So now we're connected and protected. I'm going to go back to home. We'll talk more about IP Vanish a little later on. I'm not going to hold up the video for that. Go over to the gear and then move down to My Fire TV. In between about and legal and compliance, there's something that's missing called developer options. You need that in order to install what we need to install. So the way to get developer options back, this is sort of a hidden thing that Amazon did to us a while back. Click on about, and then while you're hovering over a Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever your model is, I want you to hit the select button on the remote, that's this one right here, seven times and watch what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it says, no need, you are already a developer. Now let's watch what happens when we hit the back button, which is that one right there. There it is. Developer options is now there. Okay. So now let's go back to home. So from here, we're going to need to install an app called downloader and it's free in the Amazon app store. It doesn't cost anything. You go over to the magnifying glass, go down and click search and then start typing in the word downloader. Only a couple of letters will be enough because it's one of the most popular apps installed on everybody's Fire Stick pretty much. Click on Downloader and then click on it again. If this is the first Fire Stick you've ever had, it's going to say, get it, it's free. I've obviously done this before. So for me, it says download, you own it and click on that. That'll take just a moment. Okay, so before you open it, there's one thing we have to do now. Hit the home button. Go back over to the gear. Now that that's installed, we need to go down into My Fire TV, go into Developer Options, go down to where it says Install Unknown Apps. This is the secret of jailbreaking or installing unknown apps on your Fire Stick. So click on that and then change where it says Off to On for Downloader. That's all you need to do. And then after that, we can go ahead and hit the Home button. The Downloader app is ready to go. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and put Downloader up here on this favorites bar here because it's gonna be an app that you're gonna use a lot. And the way to do that is go over here where you have the three squares and the plus, click on that. The last app installed is always gonna be at the bottom of the list. So to get to that, go to the left and there it is right there. Hit the three lines, the button with the three lines on the remote. That's the menu button or some people call the hamburger button. Click on that and then go down to where it says move to front and click that home again and there we go downloader is here ready to go first thing you need to do is open it up you must click allow on this permission this is basically letting downloader uh, have access to the files on your fire stick to be able to install these apps so obviously that's a given you have to click allow and then click ok on this we're about halfway there and we're only what about a minute in so from here Go up to where it says enter a URL or search term. Here we're going to enter in the short code for the Cord Cutters LI website, which is 893 
six four and go down and click go. It's going to redirect you there in just a few seconds, just to make sure you didn't uh, make a mistake while typing that. Click that hamburger button again on your remote two times to change to full screen, so it's a little easier to navigate around. Now, go over to the menu and click on those three lines, and go down to Tutorials. Here you're going to see a whole bunch of apps that you could install on your Fire Stick. Feel free to browse around there, I'm adding more all the time. But the one we're interested in here is just updated this month. And there it is right there. So click on that. You'll see some information about this app. This is a app store where you can get all sorts of apps, both official and unofficial. Go down here and click download. Go down and over to click install. Okay, when that gets finished, just click the Done button because we want to delete that installation file because we no longer need it. So go over to Delete and then Delete again. And now you can go ahead and hit the Home button. So now that that app is installed, we need to do the same thing we did for Downloader. So go over to the gear, move down to My Fire TV, go to Developer Options, and now Install Unknown Apps. There's another app here that we need to enable and go ahead and click on that. So now this app is also allowed to install applications on your Fire Stick. So click home. Once again, I'm going to add this to that favorites bar by the same method. Move to front and click home. So now the last step is just to open up this app. So I should mention here that this Cord Cutters LA video goes out to all countries, basically. So it's really up to you um, to make yourself aware of what is allowed and what's not allowed in your region. So these apps are broken down into all sorts of categories. So installing apps from here is basically the same method. You go into the groups that you want to get to. So I encourage you to just browse around through here, find some of the apps that you may want to install, and go for it. Again, keeping in mind your local regulations. So that's it. You've now jailbroken your Amazon Fire Stick. And I'm going to say it one last time. It's not really jailbreaking. I know that. I'm well aware that what I just showed you how to do is just to install third-party or unknown apps on your Fire Stick. So when you tell your friends that you just got a new Amazon Fire Stick, the first thing they're going to ask you is, hey, did you jailbreak it? Yes, I did. And I learned how to do it at Cord Cutters LI. Hey guys, real quick before you go, I did want to point out the fact that IP Vanish is the VPN that I use and trust. And especially while streaming unknown apps like this, not only does it help you stay connected and protected while using some of these apps, it also allows you to choose the very specific and fastest server within a city or a state or a country for wherever you are, wherever you want to get to. And that can be big because, you know, very often your ISP or some ISP between you and where you're going might have some roadblocks up and choosing a different server to connect through will get you there uninhibited. So with all that being said, right now is probably one of the best times to get IP Vanish. It is on sale for 81% off. If you get the two-year option, you can get 24 months plus three months free for less than $2.50 a month. This is one of the best prices they've had in a very, very long time, and I think it's ending soon. So if you want to take advantage of this sale, please go ahead and do that before the time runs out. And if you do, I'd really appreciate you using the link in the description below, because this will help in a small way to support the Cord Cutters LI channel. So if you learned anything today, I'd really appreciate you liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and as always, share this in all of your favorite Cord Cutters LI videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my videos shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.